Jen and I'm Jay. Together we push play. Well, anyways, what we're gonna do is we are going to react to a fishing video on Nuke's top five. So let's get started. The video is titled Five Shocking Fishing Moments Caught on Camera. Five shocking fishing moments caught on camera. Sewer fishing. Now this guy figured he didn't need to go far from home to do some fishing and he was right. In this video he actually reels in a bass out of a storm sewer in his backyard. No way. Yeah, it happens. Seriously? It's connected to a water source. Okay, I have to see this. I have to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now whether you'd want to eat a fish caught in a dirty storm drain that's your call Get most people would take the grade off first I they had to have that fish in a in a cooler or something there's no way I I would have to see it in person there's no way. All right, number four, getting muddy. Getting muddy. So this fish isn't caught in water, but technically it's still fishing. Maybe the strangest form of fishing you'll ever see. Now it's no surprise that South Africa is hot. So hot that rain is not enough to keep water beds from drying up entirely. This phenomenon would be deadly to any other aquatic life, but not the lungfish. The lungfish does not only have gills, but a modified swim bladder that acts as a lung as well. It can actually breathe air when there's no water. However, even though the lungfish can breathe, it's still threatened by exposure to the sun and predators. So, the lungfish digs a hole in the mud, makes itself a little cocoon from mucus that actually oozes from its skin, and then hibernates until water returns with the rain. It can actually stay in hibernation with no water for up to four years. Anyway, back to the video. Now these guys look like they are professionals at catching lungfish. They know exactly how to find them and dig them out. So if you want to fish in Africa, sometimes all you need is a stick and a shovel. Pretty tough to be dead for three years. <laughs> Just saying. No way. <laughs> Obviously. Fishing bird. Now this next video shows that the sport of fishing isn't always just for people. This bird has a very peculiar way of luring its prey. Oh, look what he's doing. He takes a little piece of bread, puts it in, and I believe he's allowing the fish to come around that bread, and he's got them. What a clever bird. Yeah. Did I miss it? I didn't see. Did he catch a fish? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, yes, there he goes. And he takes the bread. Oh, what a clever bird. There, there, he puts it in. And he waits. Turns it around. And he just waits. Moving to different areas. There he's got the fish. What a sh That was a fish? Yeah. Well, I mean, he's not exactly going <laughs> to sit there and hold it. Look here, guys, what I caught. <laughs> you know? Wow, that was fast. 
Maybe I should take some lessons from this bird while fishing. <laughs> Rudy. And he moves the bread around. Got another fish. Shrewd. I've never seen anything like this. So while the other birds are happy to eat crumbs, this very smart little bird dines on a meal of fresh fish. That was awesome. That was cute. Okay, carp attack. Oh man. Aren't isn't that the really big like Yeah, it comes up and needs fish? to like stop off out of the water. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Here we go. Carp attack. These fishers were pretty disappointed when they hadn't caught many fish at the end of the day. It was their first boat experience on the Illinois. Was it me or was that flooded? They had a dog into the building off of the river. Okay. The river and overall a pretty disappointing fishing trip. But then suddenly their bad luck turned around when on the way back at the end of the day, carps in the river literally begin to jump into their boat. terrify me if I was on a boat you guys if that started happening just go bow fishing and get them out of the air that would be even better take a fishing rod in that case like i know right does anybody know what's going on with these fish like why are they doing what is causing them to do that maybe nuke will tell us i don't know but I mean, this is crazy i think they come from like asia or somewhere i you know i've never ate carp i wonder if carp tastes any good i don't know i don't know aren't I, they like a bottom feeder no they feed off the top but mm. I, I I don't know. If anybody knows, let us know below. Weird mouth that goes at the top of the water on all that algae and stuff. Oh. 
Ice fishing fail. In this video from Russia, an ice fisher's catch doesn't go exactly as planned. Okay, I've always wanted to try ice fishing. Have you ever been ice fishing? No. And no. I thought there was supposed to be like a hole in the ice. Is that what he's uncovering? Maybe? I don't know. I would suppose. Are right, you getting ready to make a hole? I don't, I don't know. know. Some Let's people see. even build fires on the ice. It don't make sense to me. I, I, you know, I've seen that like on National Geographic before. But anyways, yeah. let's see what happens. Nice catch. He did not just walk away from the fish. Yeah, he did. I mean, where's it gonna go? Huh. <laughs> My mind is going so many places right now of what could go wrong with this fell. <laughs> fish chose the perfect moment to make its escape back into the water. And instead of the fisherman catching a nice fish, the fish caught itself a shiny new fishing pole. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but when you see fishermen and they lose their fishing pole to fish, like, can you picture those fish under the water, like, trying to swim away? I mean... Hopefully, eventually, the hook comes out its mouth and it's not trailing a it fishing will. pole, but, yeah. We'll reject it. Anyways, that... What's that wood for? ...was hilarious. I don't... I don't know. Because it didn't work to keep the rod out, obviously. No. I think it was probably part of the way to cover it. I, mm. I don't know. Beats me. <laughs> He was yeah. using it to try to fish his fishing pole out, I guess. Yeah, he was so. using it to I guess it's break a tool. The ice off. <laughs> Whatever it is. Too damn cold for me. That was Nuke's top five. His five shocking fishing moments caught on camera. And if you like that video in our commentary, hit that like button to let us know that you liked our content. And if you want to see more like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button. Anyways, until we see you. Until we post it. Until the next one. Bye. <laughs> so that was Nuke's top five fishing. What was the video title? That was Nuke's top five, five shocking fishing moments caught on camera.